I find myself in an extremely challenging predicament that has left me feeling utterly lost and unsure of what steps to take next. My story began when, at the age of 28, I became involved with a woman whom I grew fond of. We entered into a romantic relationship and spent considerable time together. Eventually, I made the decision to propose marriage to her and sought the approval of her mother, who happened to be residing outside of Accra. I was well into the process of collecting the required items for our impending marriage when an unexpected revelation turned our situation upside down. It was discovered that my beloved was pregnant. Knowing well the customs and traditions of our community, I was aware that marrying a pregnant woman was not in alignment with our practices. This realization prompted me to seek guidance from my uncle, and together we approached her family with a proposition. We suggested that we allow her to give birth before proceeding with the marriage rites. Miraculously, her family agreed to this arrangement. As my partner's pregnancy advanced, she relocated to her mother's home for the purpose of receiving support during her final months. It was during this time that I began to notice certain aspects of her mother's behavior that raised concerns. Even the most trivial expenses seemed to come with a demand for reimbursement from me. Approximately one month after the birth of our child, my partner and I decided that it was best for her to return to Accra, as both of us were growing increasingly uncomfortable with her mother's behavior. Shortly after her return, her mother requested a meeting with me, during which she dropped a bombshell. She declared that she would not permit me to marry her daughter due to our differing regional backgrounds. This unexpected obstacle sent me into a state of despair. Her father, though alive, had little influence over the situation due to his neglectful past, but he advised me to seek the assistance of an elder who might be able to change her mother's stance on the matter. Despite our efforts to reason with her, her stance remained unaltered. The situation took an even more distressing turn when my partner's mother, accompanied by her uncle, arrived at my doorstep to take my partner away. However, she resisted their attempts and chose to stay with me. Before leaving, her mother ominously warned me to prepare for whatever was to come next. Tragically, a week later, my partner fell seriously ill in the night. We rushed her to the hospital and eventually to the renowned Coral BU Hospital, where she managed to recover against all odds. Following her recovery, we made the difficult decision that she should return to her mother's care. Around a month later, my partner visited me with distressing news. Our child had been crying incessantly, and an elder had advised her that the child needed the presence of its father. She conveyed this to her mother, who offered no response. Together, we agreed that she would spend three days with me and then return to her mother's home. However, tragedy struck once again when she fell ill the very next day. I rushed her to the hospital, but devastatingly, she was declared dead upon arrival. Now, I find myself grappling with an incomprehensible situation. Her family insists that I marry her in her deceased state before her burial. This request is both bewildering and heart-wrenching. Were it not for our child, I might have been driven to take my own life. I am utterly at a loss, desperately seeking guidance and direction in this harrowing time. Mama Mary, I implore you to help me navigate through this overwhelming turmoil.